Welcome back to Chasing News. I'm Bill Spadia. Showing frontline workers how much they matter has become an important mission for many individuals and organizations in our region. And over the past couple of months, showing you examples of that outpouring of appreciation has been a part of our mission here at Chasing News. Tonight, we introduce you to the folks behind a major effort to deliver healthy food to the workers who are committed to keeping us healthy. It's called hospitality, and it's led by an expert in the hospitality industry, Nick Champagne, who joins me now. Nick, welcome to Chasing News. How are you? Thanks, Bill. I'm, I'm good. So what I love about what you're doing, and I want you to explain it to everyone, is you're not only feeding the folks out there working these long shifts and helping people be safe, but you are also helping business get back in these restaurants who are also on the front line stay in business. Sure. The initial idea was to help the frontline healthcare workers by feeding them, not because they were short on food, but just to boost their morale based on the trauma that they were seeing. And based on my background in the hospitality industry, I also wanted to help the restaurants that chose to stay open during these challenges. Many of the restaurants are not, in my opinion, doing it for profit. They're doing it basically, you know, the need to serve. And that being said, we wanted to raise some money and help them, which solves a third challenge, which is jobs. It preserves jobs for the people that are working for them as well. How do folks that are able to help, help out this cause? Every little bit helps. So for the person who is financially affected by this, if they're not able to donate anything, we will love for them to just share the initiative and create awareness to what we're doing. We've gotten the cost of a meal on average to about $5 per person. So every little bit helps. If someone wants to donate to the GoFundMe anonymously because it's, you know, they feel too little, whatever they're able to do, that's totally fine. But spreading the message is very, very important. Thank you, Nick. Great to talk to you. Appreciate you. Thank you. And now it's time for tonight's Daily Points. I love the things that Nick and his team are doing. It's fantastic. But, you know, I want to keep in mind, too, there are a lot of folks on the front line helping keep people safe in all other aspects of the healthcare industry. There are plenty of other people suffering in terms of diabetes and heart disease. And there are a lot of nurses and doctors out there working hard every day. So even if you are out there and you're not dealing with COVID-19, we appreciate you because we know just how hard nurses and docs and all the medical professionals, EMTs, cops, firefighters are working to keep our community safe. Thanks to all of you. Enjoy the weekend. I'll see you Monday.